Hello everyone. Today I thought I would talk about this new robotic chassis that I have. This is actually from Servo City. Um, if you've watched uh, any of my other videos or subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, you'll I love Servo City. Their components are are crazy strong. Uh, they're what robotic individuals would expect to build upon. So I was actually surprised to see how strong these wheels are. So if you wanted to build something with some some weight or something that's substantial, uh, this is what you'd start off with. Also, um, this robotic kit actually is really extremely cheap, I mean for what you get. Uh, it doesn't come with the motors. The gear motors, they have them right on the chassis website, so if you wanted to buy those, they're extremely cheap. What I'm doing with this particular this particular chassis is I'm going to use something with some horsepower like a hummingboard or or like a PC Drino or something like that but it, 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 for the most part I'll probably use uh, Solid Run's hummingboard and why is because <clears throat> this this hummingboard is actually um, uh, I have OpenCV compiled on this and uh, it'll do face detection uh, if you're on my YouTube or my Facebook Linux development boards Facebook channel You will see uh, Videos of my compile time and what it looks like to have face detection with OpenCV So I thought that was a pretty good feature. So I plan on starting the platform with this chassis I, I, I thought I would start this video with nothing on the chassis just built as as what you get with the kit except for the motors <clears throat> and just show you a little bit about the chassis what it looks like you can see here they don't skimp on the screws or anything like that um, <clears throat> it's really strong construction and, and if you look at the how the how it's put together it's really nice so <clears throat> I thought I'd start my my videos off with version one um, this is the plain chassis this is the machine uh, the Linux development board that I'm going to use and then I'll build a platform on here and I'll probably have a um, uh, five foot uh, tower that comes up by some more of this channel and I'll actually develop a webcam you with USB you could do um, 15 15 feet so I probably do five foot eight inches the average height and do uh, a webcam that's connected to this board and use Stephen Hickson's command control and use a speed controller with these GPIO pins on this board. Yeah, so I just thought I'd talk about it a little bit and show you what it looks like. The components of the chassis are really well built. Um, look at their YouTube channel uh, as well because it's what you'll see. Um, they have really good explanation on how to put the components together, which this chassis after it's built, it doesn't look very complex. But as you build it, uh, you can really see uh, the work and the detail and the, the individual components that are put into these chassis and you really get what you pay for <clears throat> is what I noticed too is, is that um, if you look at the brackets they try to give you as much expandability as possible so for instance if you wanted to offset this particular channel to one side you could do that if you wanted another channel and you wanted to build a square you could do that as well I just thought I would show it and, and describe a little bit about it so uh, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Also, give me a like. Uh, if you got any questions about this kit, the link will be down in the description. Also, uh, I got a Facebook group called Linux Development Boards. So, if you want to see more um, Linux Development Boards, I have a Facebook group and I also have a uh, Reddit, a subreddit that that talks about Linux Development Boards. So, have a good day.